Grand Theft Auto V released in 2013 is still a powerhouse in the gaming world, with over 100,000 daily players on Steam. This game has stood the test of time continuously receiving updates and new online content that keep players hooked. By the time GTA 6 hits the scene next year, GTA 5 will have celebrated a whopping 12 years on the market, setting a record as the longest-running Rockstar game. This begs the question, can GTA 6 match the endurance of its predecessor? Let's not forget that Red Dead Redemption 2, which despite its initial success, couldn't quite hold on to the same level of engagement as GTA 5. So what's the secret sauce that keeps GTA 5 thriving while other games struggle to maintain momentum? If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's dive straight in. Rockstar Games has earned its reputation as the gold standard in game development, known for their meticulous attention to detail and commitment to excellence in every aspect. Their games are a masterclass in gameplay mechanics and storytelling that immerses players like no other. Take Grand Theft Auto 4 for example, released back in 2008. Even compared to other titles of its era, its graphical quality remains strikingly impressive and holds up exceptionally well today. During that era of gaming, the common strategy to extend a game's lifespan was through DLCs that offered new stories set in the same world. GTA 4 introduced two acclaimed expansions, The Ballad of Gay Tony and The Lost and Damned, each receiving favorable reviews. Leveraging the existing map and mechanics of GTA 4, these expansions were more manageable to develop. This approach not only prolonged the game's life but also generated additional revenue by selling new DLCs to an established player base while freeing up resources to focus on the next generation of GTA. A similar strategy was considered for extending GTA 5's lifespan, as revealed in leaks suggesting up to eight DLCs were planned but ultimately scrapped. This was also confirmed by Trevor in a recent interview. And we also had that really cool shit of, there was, and I forget if it was DLC, I have no idea, but where Trevor was gonna be like a undercover. He, start, he works for the feds. And we, and we did shoot some of that stuff with like James Bond, Trevor. He's still kind of a fuck up, but he's doing his best to pretend to be like, and it was, and we shot a, some stuff and then it just disappeared and never did it. And they never followed up on it. But I thought that would be cool. Like he gets hired. They went, by, uh, they went to GTA online, I believe for that stuff. Yeah. However, the gaming landscape had evolved significantly with this generation, placing more emphasis on GTA Online which proved to be a massive success, generating substantial revenue for Rockstar. Given this success, there was little incentive for story DLCs, which might have diverted profits from GTA Online. Another key factor contributing to GTA 5's longevity was the introduction of custom roleplay servers. These servers allow players to break free from the constraints of standard multiplayer and create their own unique roleplaying experiences. This innovation made GTA 5 immensely popular among streamers and remains one of the most viewed categories on Twitch. The popularity of these custom servers was so significant that Take-Two, the parent company of Rockstar, acquired the hosting company, potentially hinting at future integration into GTA 6. It's worth noting that Red Dead Redemption 2 also has a roleplay community, but it hasn't gained the same level of popularity as its GTA counterpart. The enduring success of GTA 5 owes much to the long development cycle of GTA 6. Rockstar's commitment to delivering a groundbreaking experience for the next generation demanded extensive time and resources, making GTA 5 the anchor title to bridge this ambitious gap. While the wait for GTA 6 has certainly tested gamers' patience, anticipation is high that the payoff will be nothing short of spectacular. Now the burning question, how long will GTA 6 reign before GTA 7 takes the stage? Rockstar's insistence for pushing boundaries suggests that GTA 7 will aim for even greater heights, potentially leading to another lengthy development cycle. However, with advancements in AI and other development tools, there's potential for more efficient game creation, which could shorten the development timeline compared to GTA 6. The true measure of GTA 6's success, however, will be determined by its profitability. How long can GTA 6 stay profitable before the demand for GTA 7 arises? Given that GTA 5 maintained its popularity for 12 straight years, it's interesting to see how GTA 6 will perform in comparison. If it doesn't achieve the same lasting success, Rockstar might need to consider releasing GTA 7 earlier than expected. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how long GTA 6 will last. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and push that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. As always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.